Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and I'm from Elemental Concept. Today we're going to be experimenting with the gradient uh, grain effect that's become so popular in After Effects recently. Uh, unfortunately, I always found it was quite limited using uh, layer styles and uh, being limited to um, shape layers. So I wanted to know how can we implement this into a PNG sequence or a pre-comp. So here's what I came up with. I hope you enjoy. So this will be a, just a quick tip to explain how to do a different type of grain noise, something that seems to be so popular online at the moment, but this is not gonna be using layer styles. We're gonna be using IFX presets all the way through. So I've got this Michael Jackson style character uh, dancing on the screen and I can add a, let's say, a gradient uh, ramp onto the character and we can set our values of the white and your black. Then I can add a noise to it. Drop your noise on here, put it all the way to the top, turn your color off. Then I can use a curves and if you just strengthen the black and the white, you can have a much stronger grainier look like that and then if you wanted to have a more natural or a different experimental kind of feel with your noise grain you can go to turbulent um, displacement and drop that on there but to prevent it from distorting everything if you just drag it above your noise actually if we drag it above the gradient let's see what happens here just grab it above the noise um, of the gradient come on just below there and then if you go into your settings and you just bring it down to zero and you bring the complexity up no there we go you bring it below the noise and now we can bring this to, say, we're gonna bring our size to zero and we're gonna bring our mount nice and high. And it kind of gives it a different type of effect. That just feels a little bit nicer than going for that grainy effect. Now also if we wanted to affect the, the colors of the character, we can do that too, we would go to tint let me drop a tint on there and let's go for a nice retro pink and uh, kind of a retroish blue. And you can always just swap the colors around depending on what you want. Now the cool thing is you can layer this up with also a, a, a bevel alpha. If we drop a bevel alpha on top of that and tell you what, if I just turn all these effects off so we can actually see the bevel alpha itself and we can just bring that up nice and high and change its angle, turn everything back on again. And it's all just about the order. So if you get it above the noise, now we've just introduced a nice bevel alpha there that we can edit at any angle we want. So that's quite cool. And the, the possibilities are absolutely endless. I'm blown away just by experimenting with this. Uh, we can do a shape layer and we could draw a spotlight on the character. And we can copy all of those effects that we did and paste it onto the spotlight and set it to multiply. And maybe with the spotlight, we'll go back to our uh, tint value and change one of these colors to white. And then we can delete the bevel alpha. So we've got just the gradient and we can mess with our gradient ramp 
until we find a more suitable spotlight. That doesn't go totally over the character. Uh, in fact, you know, if we just want a different color spotlight, let's go for, okay, no, yeah, that's horrible. Let's stick with that one that we had there. And, you know, if we want to edit this more, we can uh, either do it in our curves or we can go into our noise and we just pull the noise down so that way you get a different type of spotlight. Until you're happy with this, really. Uh, you can you can even change this to a radial ramp so it's more rounded at the ends. Now why don't we animate the spotlight so we can press Y on the keyboard, put our orientation point at the very top here and we can press R on the keyboard, Alt click on the R and let's type in wiggle uh, one comma and then we can have this spotlight moving over the character. Heck, why don't we just duplicate the character again and rotate him 180 degrees. Uh, set our scale to minus, so it's flipped the other way around. And on our position, right, let me try that again. Bring the character below here. And if we just close these, let's get rid of that bevel alpha again. And same thing again, I'm just gonna, I'll turn the pink white. And we can go to our gradient ramp. Okay, the colors are the wrong way around, so we can always just flip that. Let's make that white, and let's make that black. And then who knows, maybe we want the shadow just to be a little bit softer. Okay, and we can move this below there. Cool, and you just can keep on layering up as, as much as you like, really. We could we get a solid there, and who knows, maybe we want a floor underneath here. So we can copy and paste all these again, and stick it onto the floor. And let's just change our floor's gradient ramp to a different color. So, we had our tint there, so we could maybe use the blue in that tint. And then we can just dial back our transparency on the floor. Uh, maybe we want to make the spotlight a little bit less. Take our transparency down and soften this up. And there we go. A new way of doing the gradient effect with uh, PNG sequences or pre-comps. I hope you guys enjoy this. Cheers.